Scar Tissue Reduction Scar formation, known as cicatrization, is essential to the wound healing process. That means it is important to avoid scar reducing protocols during the initial stages of healing from surgical or accidental trauma. Once the surgeon is done with follow-ups and any non-self-resorbing stitches are removed, or once the scabs are coming off the wounds, scar reduction helps to restore the injured tissue toward the original genetic blueprint. The material body is a flow system. Tissues are always cleansing and healing, and that process can be supported and enhanced. That applies to scar tissue, no matter how long ago it was formed. For example, my father had an appendectomy at age 6. In his 70s, the scar was still inflamed, appearing red, raised, and dotted with blackheads. Within 6 months of scar reduction support, that scar that had not changed appearance in 7 decades became flat with normal coloration and no more blackheads. Scar tissue is an issue for more than cosmetic reasons. Scar tissue seals the wound, but it also blocks the flow of matter, energy and information through the area. This affects the flows through nerves, blood vessels, lymph vessels and the extracellular fluid ECF. The meridians and electroacupuncture vessels carry flows of direct current and material detoxification through the ECF. In European biological medicine, the functional interference caused by a scar is known as a scar disturbance field, an interference field, or a chronic focus. The Scar Reduction Protocol is our optimum accelerated self-healing program for clearing scar disturbance fields and reforming scar tissue toward normal tissue structure function according to the original genetic blueprint. Scar tissue contracts over time, especially in the first six months or so. That is why many vision-related disturbances often become symptomatic about six months after a head injury. With closed head trauma, there is scarring internally that is not visible, but can have profound effects on consciousness, perception and performance. The contraction of scar tissue can put further stress on surrounding tissues and cause additional damage. For example, in the retina, scar tissue formed in the healing of a bleed can cause another blood vessel break, and another round of scarring. I had a patient in her 60s who had undergone radiation therapy for thyroid cancer as a teenager. The radiation had caused cancer in the muscles of the right side of her neck, so the muscles had been surgically removed. She could no longer turn her head to the right because the muscles were gone. The skin on that side of the neck was so thick and leathery, that even though she had muscles on the left side of her neck she could not turn her head to the left at all due to the resistance of the scar tissue. In one month of scar reduction support, she gained about 15 degrees range of motion turning her head to the left. When additional professional support is needed, neural therapy injections into the scar can be considered. Neural therapy applies an anesthetic, typically procaine or lidocaine, to help reset the electrical properties of the scar tissue. Procaine metabolizes into the B vitamin paraminobenzoic acid PABA, in the blood plasma, while lidocaine must be detoxified in the liver, so procaine may be preferable as a cleaner injection. The topical therapy, many, but certainly not all scars are visible on the skin. For visible scars, we apply topical MSM lotion twice or more daily. MSM lotion comes with a choice of natural essential oil scents such as lavender and coconut rose, as well as a pure and natural version. The enteric capsule formula, Clear the Way is the cleanest, most concentrated, and most comprehensive capsule formulation for scar reduction. Most enteric supplements and many pharmaceuticals use phthalates as enteric coatings. These plasticizers are very harmful to the immune system, and the amounts present in drugs and supplements is often up to 1,000 times the levels we are exposed to in commercial foods and water from plastic bottles. We ensure that all of our enteric formulations are cleaned by using phthalate-free enteric veggie capsules. Clear the way is the most concentrated source of the serapeptase, serratia peptidase, enzyme supplying 200,000 SP units per capsule. The enzyme is produced by a bacterium from the microbiome of the silkworm. Nutritional synergists MSM, organic sulfur, and vitamin E are included to activate additional pathways of scar reduction when the capsule formula is used in isolation. In our research, 
We found that 85% of healing is the body's active response to the quantum signaling of the remedies present in the body field, biofield. Optimum doses of these key scar reducing nutrients are obtained by adding the gel capsule and the powder listed below. Several botanical synergists add to the comprehensive stimulation of scar healing pathways. Quercetin dihydrate is the water soluble form of quercetin, which is the most researched of all the bioflavonoids. We use the dihydrate form because it is about eight times more bioavailable than regular quercetin. Ginsenocytes are the active healing compounds concentrated from ginseng, Painax ginseng. Ginseng is the quintessential adaptogen, meaning it helps everything to function better. Ginseng is widely used in scar healing. Asiaticocytes, including Asiatic acid and matacasic acid are concentrated from the herb Godocola, Centella asiatica. Godocola is widely used in scar healing as well. The absorption and delivery of all these ingredients are enhanced by including our bioavailability factors. This is a Fibonacci-inspired series of seven botanical and nutritional factors we have identified that stimulate increased nutrient absorption, circulation at the area of absorption, and circulatory perfusion in the target tissues to deliver more of what is in the remedy to where it is needed, as well as harmonizing the effects of multiple ingredients to make them work with greater synergy. The gel capsule, vitamin E is available in many forms. Synthetic vitamin E, DL form, is only 50% in the natural deconfiguration, so it is not preferred. We use the natural dry form, D-alpha dipophoryl succinate, and clear the way because it is stable at room temperature and takes up little space in the capsule. The best form, however is the full vitamin E complex. For 60 years there has been a single source for undiluted whole vitamin E complex capsules. We have used that source for the last 40 years, and supply it as our vitamin E spectrum. The optimum dosage is to build up to as much as 3 capsules a day. Divided dosing is not essential, as it is a fat-soluble vitamin, so it is best to take it with a meal that includes other beneficial oils. The reason to adjust dosage gradually is that there can be some temporary adjustments of blood pressure regulation when changing vitamin E dosage too rapidly. Most vitamin E oil gel caps need to be refrigerated to prevent them from going rancid. That is because they are typically diluted in soy oil. Vitamin E spectrum is pure and potent, making it stable at room temperature. This demonstrates its superior antioxidant quality. The powder, methyl sulfonyl methane, MSM, is a remarkable form of organic sulfur with over a dozen medical patents MSM powder dissolves easily in water and has a taste that is somewhat bitter and cooling. The optimum dosage is to build up according to tolerance to about half teaspoon, or 4-500 mg scoops, three times a day in water for a typical adult of about 150 pounds. Dosage should be adjusted according to body weight. The reason to ramp up the dosage rather than starting at the full dose is that MSM is detoxifying, and moving toxins such as heavy metals too rapidly at first can sometimes exceed the capacity of the body's elimination systems to excrete the unwanted substances. On rare occasion, this can produce a temporary increase of a symptom when getting started. In several cases, I have also heard a metallic taste in the mouth reported when first taking MSM, as heavy metals, especially mercury which has a strong affinity for sulfur, begin to mobilize from storage in the tissues near where silver amalgam fillings are or were located. Adjunct therapies, scar tissue reformation benefits from additional support, including PEMF, microcurrent and photobiomodulation with soft laser therapies. Our top choice for PEMF is Beamer because scar tissue reduces regional circulation, and Beamer increases both blood and lymph circulation by 30%. This helps bring more of the healing power of any oral remedies to bear on the area. We are authorized representatives for Beamer, so we can help you if you do not yet have one of these remarkable healing tools. We also stock other PEMF devices in case you may. One of our favorite microcurrent devices is the DENAS, which is based on the original Senior technology developed for treating cosmonauts in the Russian space program. We also keep a range of microcurrent devices in stock, so let us know your needs by applying for access to consultation here. 
Our proprietary soft laser photobiomodulation technologies apply light frequencies that energize and cleanse deep tissues, while specifically activating mitochondrial metabolism and attracting spirit mineral healing powers of superfluidity and superconductivity as well as amplifying healing intent through the power of consciousness. We offer a handheld soft laser for use on the body as well as a helmet designed for the head and brain area. Soft lasers are not used directly in the eyes and caution is recommended for the thyroid and the gut areas. For eye and vision issues, the ideal areas are the frontal and maxillary sinuses and the temple area, as well as the helmet for the visual pathways and the visual cortex.